Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to attend this special webinar on Costa Rica Wellness Yoga Retreat with Senior Discovery Tours featuring guest speaker, Martine. My name is Brianne, and I'm the branch manager of our London, Ontario office for Senior Discovery Tours. I've had the great pleasure of working for Senior Discovery Tours for the past 17 years. In that time, I've been fortunate enough to have been to six continents, 18 countries, and countless cities, villages, and towns. Please note that everyone has been muted. There will be a question and answer period at the end of Martine's presentation. Should you have any questions at any time, please enter them in the Q&A section at, the, at either the bottom or the top of your screen, depending on your device. Today, we have a surprise. One lucky attendee is going to win a $100 gift certificate for future travel with Senior Discovery Tours. At the end of the presentation, I will ask a question based on, a web, on the webinar, and the first person to put the correct answer in the Zoom chat will be the lucky winner. Please stay tuned for this opportunity. On our agenda today, we will briefly discuss our updated health and, and safety regulations in relation to COVID-19 and some of our exciting new rewards programs. Present our guest speaker, Martine, who will guide us on an enchanting retreat in one of Costa Rica's most serene destinations. There will then be a question and answer period. After the Q&A, we will outline our many tours and what makes us so unique. So for anyone who is new to Senior Discovery Tours, please stick around. We are now going to outline our health and COVID-19 protocols and our new discovery rewards. For those who attended our last webinar, this may be a repeat. So feel free to grab a coffee and come back in about three minutes. First, a little about us. Senior Discovery Tours is the largest Canadian tour operator specializing in fully escorted worldwide group tours for the mature traveler since 1975. We now offer over 200 tours and cruises, all with interesting itineraries, flexible pricing, great value and quality. The health and safety of our clients and staff are of the utmost importance, and we are delighted to report that we have been awarded the safe travel stamp by the World Travel and Tourism Council. We anticipate there will be a vaccination certificate necessary for any travel to a foreign country and possibly even to board an aircraft. These regulations will be outlined by governing countries. Vaccination against COVID-19 will be required to participate in a senior discovery tour. Uh, proof of this must be submitted to our offices no later than 14 days prior to departure. We have updated our policy to ensure that you are covered for COVID-19 while traveling with us. Senior Discovery Tours is excited to launch two new programs, Discovery Rewards and Blue Sky Referrals. From exclusive travel items to discounts on future tours, this is an exciting way to get more out of every trip you take. Simply put, the more you travel, the higher your rewards. Another amazing program is our Insider Club benefits. If you are part of a club or association, we offer a 4% commission that will be paid directly to the club or association. The best part is there's no minimum number of participants required for this benefit. To book a virtual presentation for your club, please contact us. You can now book with confidence and complete peace of mind with our new special cancellation policy. You may now cancel your tour up to 45 days for Canadian holidays and 60 days for international travel prior to your departure date and Senior Discovery Tours will offer you an immediate full refund. Should Senior Discovery Tours be forced to cancel a tour due to government advisories, you will be issued an immediate full refund. Our international tours for 2021 and 2022 are now open for booking. To book one of these tours, please contact one of our consultants. If you are not currently on our mailing list and would like to be, please subscribe on our website. Each season, we like to introduce new and unique, exciting tour destinations. Our latest brochure features these incredible new tours. 
Cuba off the beaten path, Barbados, Martinique and Guadeloupe, colonial treasures of Mexico, hidden gems of Mexico, wellness yoga retreat in Costa Rica, Argentina, Buenos Aires and Mar del Plata, wonders of ancient Egypt and wonders of Thailand. Now on with the program. Adventurous, knowledgeable, charismatic, and most of all fun, Martine has been leading small group retreats for more than 15 years to off the beaten path locations, mostly in Central and South America. Her expertise lies mainly in Costa Rica and Peru, but she has explored many other countries, expanding her knowledge of vast flora and fauna, which fascinate her the most. To that, she adds, her close to 10 years of leading some of Senior Discovery Tour's most fascinating adventures from Spain and Portugal to Alaska and Turkey and many other destinations in between, such, such as our exciting unique tour, Costa Rica Wellness Yoga Retreat. Hi, Martine. Thanks for joining us. Hi, everyone. Uh, sorry. Hello, everyone. I was going to say your name. Sorry. For <laughs> Hi, everyone. Bienvenidos. Thank you so much for joining us today to find out more about this unique wellness yoga retreat in Costa Rica. As Brianne said, my name is Martin or Martine, Martina, whichever one you like. Uh, I'll be your tour manager and your hostess on the retreat. And, and behind me, in case you're wondering, what's the side? This is a, a fire build toucan. It's not real. <laughs> it would actually hurt if it was right there. Um, they're not exactly the best uh, house pet. We'll talk about that later. So as Brianne mentioned again, is that I have been a tour manager with Senior Discovery Tours now for almost a decade. So some of you may have traveled with me. Hello, if you are uh, recognizing me here on this presentation. Uh, you know, maybe you've come to, with me to Spain, Portugal, Turkey, Greece, Alaska, Peru, maybe even Costa Rica, because I have, um, I have been uh, the tour manager for this tour several times. And I've also been leading yoga retreats, photography groups, hiking groups, art retreats, specifically in Costa Rica for over 15 years. And I've partnered with Senior Discovery Tours to offer you this unique wellness retreat. So I do hope that you will join us. So today's presentation will focus mainly on our Costa Rica wellness retreat, but I also want to talk briefly a little bit about our Costa Rica 15 day tour. I know some of you may be interested in that. Perhaps some of you have already done it, but this one generally happens at least three or more times a year. And it would complement perfectly with what we are proposing to you today if you wish to get away for a longer period of time next winter. So you can find more details about either trip to Costa Rica on our website, or you can also reach out to any of our tour consultants for more information, okay? But now, uh, I know there's a lot of uncertainty out there still in the world due to this pandemic, but let's forget about that today. Let's crank up the heat in your houses because <laughs> it is kind of a little chilly today. And let's go in virtually, uh, virtually into Costa Rica together. So I want you to join me today. Whether you join us on the trip or not, you'll be able to see a little bit more today. So what we are proposing is for you to join our week-long yoga escape that will take you to one of the world's most incredible countries, Costa Rica. So I want to first talk a little bit about the country before we get deeper into where we will actually be going within the country. And to me, Costa Rica is by far one of the most beautiful countries in all of Central America. So if you haven't been, it's definitely the jewel of Central America. So you must at least attempt one of our trips at some point. Okay, so next slide. Let's talk about the fact that National Geographic's November 2017 issue, that was not that long ago, uh, found Costa Rica to be one of the happiest places on the planet. So they looked at life as a whole. So are they thriving? Daily happiness, are they laughing? And of course, physical well-being, are they healthy? And Costa Rica ended up with one of the biggest, happiest face on the map. So if you ever go into that, you may even have it at your house, go look at it, you'll see it's the happiest, biggest happy face there. Um, it's also one of the areas in the world that's called the blue zone. It's one of the areas where people can live up to 100 and more because it's a very healthy country. And um, we can talk about that if you come on the trip. So let's move on to the next slide. We're going to talk about the fact that Costa Rica is also known as being one of the greenest countries on the planet. So over 25% of its territory is protected, helping to conserve their abundant flora and fauna. 
You can find many eco lodges and green projects around the country. And the government has done a fine job of protecting their natural milieu by creating a system of 29 national parks. Now, I don't know many countries that have that many parks that is that tiny. So one of these parks is Bayan National Park, which you'll have the option of visiting on this trip. We'll talk more about that in a bit. And to that, there's also an abundance of private reserves to connect these large expanses of protected land. So on this wonderful retreat, you'll also have a pleasure of visiting uh, one of these basically um, reserves that's called the Cloudbridge Reserve. It connects the Chiripo National Park, which is home to primary rainforest and primary cloud forest. And it creates a corridor that allows for the wildlife to flourish untouched and protected. So these, are, these corridors are very, very important in Costa Rica. And if you're someone who's very into the eco side of this trip, we can talk a lot about that. It's one of my passions, actually. Let's move on to the next slide. <clears throat> so though Costa Rica occupies only 0.01% of the planet landmass, it holds more than 5% of all species on Earth. That's incredible. So around the country, you can see a variety of wildlife from four species of monkeys to over 850 species of birds, like toucans, like my friend that I had above me, uh, and scarlet macaws, as well as wildcats, such as margays, ocelots, pumas, and jaguars. Its waters are also home to pods of dolphins, turtles, and even whale sharks and whales. So in this photo, if you can see, you have the red-eyed tree frog. I think it's pretty obvious which one it is. Uh, it uses its eyes to scare away its predators. So as it opens, the predator gets kind of spooked away and, and goes away. It's about all it has as a defense. Also, there's the white-faced capuchins. These are one of four types of monkeys in the country, the other ones being the howler monkeys. Everyone always asks me to do the howler monkey sound, so I'll do it for you. It's, it's pretty embarrassing, but I'll do it anyways. It sounds like this. <laughs> so do not be scared. They're not big. They sound big, but they're not big. There's also the spider monkeys, which are my favorite. They have the long arms and legs, and they have no thumbs, so they can really break it between the branches. It's really fun to look at them. They also have the squirrel monkeys. These are the tiny little monkeys, uh, also known as titi monkeys. But these white face captions, we'll talk about, about them a little bit longer uh, later on. We also have green iguanas, which you can see here, and they're in droves in the Nicoya Peninsula to the north. So if you do our 15 day trip, you'll for sure see these guys, they're everywhere. And we also have, um, again, the keel build, you know, uh, toucan, which is behind me is also in this photo, also known as the rainbow build toucan. And we actually have six species of toucans in the country. So if you like toucans, this is the place to go for sure. Let's move on to the next slide. Now, Costa Rica is often compared to West Virginia in size. So imagine the map of the United States of America, then imagine West Virginia, it's tiny, and that's the size of Costa Rica. So basically the US has 200 times more land than Costa Rica, but Costa Rica holds more than 500,000 species of you know, flora and fauna. So it's just more than triple what the United States holds in this massive land. So it also has 12 microclimates from beaches, mountains and volcanoes. We actually have hundreds of volcanoes, but only five of them are still active. So it's not to be <laughs> nothing to worry about too much. We are on the, was it the ring of fire? We have tropical jungle, we have cloud forests, we have waterfalls and more. In fact, if you choose to do our 15 day Costa Rica adventure to the north, and then our eight day yoga retreat to the south, you'll experience many of these unique ecosystems. So it's really special. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so I want to take a few quick minutes to tell you a little bit about our Costa Rica 15 day adventure before we move into talking about our wellness yoga retreat, if that's okay. Now I know most of you are here to, to hear about the new yoga escape, and I'm happy you are here, but let me just take a few seconds to introduce our 15 day Costa Rica adventure in case you're interested and maybe you've never done it. So in 2022, we're offering three different dates that you can join. The first coincides perf perf like perfectly with our mountain yoga escape in case you want to combine them both and make it an extra long trip. And we can talk dates and stuff like that. Uh, best if you talk with a consultant that can give you the exact dates of that. So our 15 day trajectory trip, if you can see the map there, it'll take you from the Central Valley near San Jose, which is the capital city, uh, where you'll be doing a handful of tours, including visiting a coffee plantation, doing a tour of the capital city and visiting the Irasu volcano. So that's one of our active volcanoes, but again, it's very safe. 
You will then head to La Fortuna, where you can experience the Arenal volcano, which again is another one of our active volcanoes. In 2010, it was still showing lava. That stopped. I missed it. Even though I've been living in Costa Rica since 2006, I missed that show. Uh, hopefully, it will not erupt while you're there. That's all I have to say. <laughs> as well as suspension bridges, you'll go over the canopy. And of course, the amazing hot springs, which are by far my favorite in that area. From the Arenal region, you'll visit the Caño Negro National Park on boat, which is home to tons of wildlife, like howler monkeys. No, I will not do the sound again. <laughs> Once is enough. Slots, and of course, birds, canines, and so much more. And after moving around for that week, uh, on day eight, you'll head to the Guanacaste region for a seven night stay in our all-inclusive beach resort. So this is a week of relaxation by the beach and you can join our fun activities like visit a Palo Verde National Park, where you will do a fun mangrove boat tour. I love that tour. And also go on a cruise along the Guanacaste coastline maybe with a drink at hand and some nice music and dancing if you like to dance. It's a beautiful tour and you see the sunset. So you'll be plenty busy if you do this tour. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. Now I wanna start talking more specifically about our Costa Rica wellness yoga retreat in the lush mountains of Costa Rica. And contrary to the first tour where you'll be moving around a lot, this will be more of a sedentary tour. So let's move on to the next slide. We'll be going south of San Jose, all the way to the lodge that's located in the serene mountains of Costa Rica. And here you can fully unpack and delve into this incredible spot. So if you decide to do the 15 day tour, you will be moving a lot more. Of course, when you get to the beach, it's more relaxed, uh, but this is an even deeper relaxation. So here we're talking more of like a spa-like retreat, okay? So something that's really good for your soul, mind and body. Let's move into the next slide. We'll be focusing mainly on the lush and vibrant mountain cloud forest. And you'll also have the opportunity to dip your toes in the warm Pacific Ocean, okay? So a lot of times people are really scared of the hot, hot weather of Costa Rica. Well, because we're in the mountains, it's the perfect weather. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a couple minutes or a couple seconds, really. So what we're proposing today is a yoga retreat that will allow you to fully immerse into the landscape, disconnect from your everyday life and reconnect with the immense beauty of nature around you. So in the next few slides, I'll explain where we'll be going, what we'll be doing and what you can expect. It's a sneak peek uh, that will hopefully inspire you to join us. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. I'll just grab a little sip of water before we do that. Okay. So let's start with where. So we'll be heading towards the base of the famous Chiripo Mountain, considered the highest peak in all of Costa Rica. This is a three hour scenic drive south of the capital city, all the way to your new home away from home, Rio Chiripo. So Rio, it means river. And Chiripo is again, the tallest mountain in all of the country. So let's move on to the next slide. <clears throat> so from San Jose, you'll be taking a three hour scenic drive south up to Rio Tripo Lodge. Now the lodge is located in the small town of Canaan. This area is approximately 4,000 feet above sea level. So the weather here is ideal with warm days and cool nights. No need to be concerned about this oppressing, hot tropical heat here in the mountains. It's really the most perfect weather in the world. I'm actually trying to convince my husband for us to build there instead of another spot in the country. It's a lot hotter. Next, next slide. You'll be going to Rio Chiripo, which is a beautiful boutique hotel that offers a spot-like escape nestled between lush green mountains and the flowing Rio Chiripo River in the next slide. We'll just pass on. You'll see the Rio Chiripo River here. It's just a magic, magical river. It's so cool and refreshing. You can swim in there. It's just powerful. And I don't know if you know about water, but it has these negative ions, which really bring back energy to your body, your mind, and your soul. So it's really very spectacular. You just be sitting there in that incredible strength of this water. And it's so beautiful. Next slide. The lodge also features a beautiful salt filtered pool, lounging area, as well as a few hot tubs if you love to soak your aching muscles after a fun hike, walk, or even your yoga practice, which we'll talk about in a bit. Next, the lodge, it features a variety of rooms and they're all fully immersed within the landscape. Let's go see the rooms in the next shot. 
We have beautiful twin rooms available that offer either one king bed or two twins, each with private washroom, wardrobe, and comfortable balcony seating overlooking the mountainside. So you're going to be plenty comfy. Our private rooms are limited to only a few. So we do invite you to bring a friend, maybe your daughter or daughters, <laughs> uh, your partner, could even be your son, perhaps he loves yoga as well. Uh, and if you're in need of support and finding a good roommate, we can put you in touch in advance to find a good match. We have that program we'll talk about at the end. And needless to say that many of our matched roomies have remained good friends and they've continued traveling together. In fact, all the trips that I've done, I always have these individuals that come like, oh yeah, we roomed in this trip and that trip. And it really builds a good, basically network. And as we know, our network is very important. It's important to have uh, new friends and, and new energy in our lives. So let's move on to the next slide. Now, if you want to treat yourself to an upgrade, you can talk with one of our expert tour consultants about our villas or one of our larger rooms. Now, those who book first will have first pick at upgrading if available and may even receive a complimentary upgrade. So it's worth booking your spot early. And we are a small group. We're keeping this small, everyone. We want this to be very intimate and really nice and relaxing. So, you know, book your spot sooner than later. And if there's so many people that want to join us, we may open up some new dates. So you'd just be put on a waiting list. So don't be afraid to book your spot, okay? Next slide. The views from each room is spectacular. So anywhere you are in the lodge, you will have a wonderful room and comfy bed during your stay. So there's no such thing as an uncomfortable room. In fact, everyone who stays there will say it was one of their best night's sleep. So it's really incredible. And speaking of that, let's move into the next slide. So of course you will have the most peaceful sleep at night, but during the day you can enjoy the many spots around the property to lounge, read your book, or simply grab a kombucha or a delicious cocktail because we do have a fully stocked bar in case you're wondering. Uh, so the great thing about this trip is we're not gonna be staying in our rooms a lot. It's really for sleeping at night. During the day, there's so many beautiful spots to just enjoy nature and be outside. That's the goal is to, remove any masks and just be in this incredibly in, in, in nature, in this incredible nature that's gonna feed you with tons of energy and it's very, very healthy. So it's an open kind of retreat. We're not gonna be indoors a lot. We're gonna be outdoors a lot, which is really good, especially in this time and day, right? Okay, next slide. Food will be a huge part of the experience with us. So let's see the next slide. Meals at the lodge are healthy and delicious. They're using locally grown produce, cheeses, meats, fish, and we'll be eating family style with buffet breakfast. And then the next slide, but we're gonna be doing plated lunches and dinners. So we'll move on to the next slide so you can see that. So we also cater to those that have special diets or allergies. So if you are gluten-free, if you are vegan or anything like that, we will cater to you without any question. This is their specialty, the food. The food here is amazing. In fact, we'll be offering you a fun cooking class in our open kitchen. So if you're a foodie, you'll love this, like me. I don't know if you can raise your hand. I can't see raised hands, but raise your hand if you're a foodie. Yes. Okay. Uh, next slide. Let's now look at what we'll be doing because you're not going to be bored. That is guaranteed. Uh, let's move into the next slide. So yoga is definitely the highlight of this retreat with daily hatha and rejuvenating classes. So that said, you can choose to join or not join any of the classes to align your mind, body, and soul. So there's no one going to be pressuring you to do that, but you'll have the opportunity twice daily to come into class. We include a private teacher that's exclusive for the group and everything you will need from mats to blocks to straps to bolsters and blankets. It's a fully stocked yoga room. More about the yoga itself will be sent to those that join. So I don't want to, because some people here may not be interested in yoga, so I don't want to bore you today. But those of you who join, will give you a lot more information. In fact, we'll be sending a questionnaire to better understand everyone's practice level and expectations. So if you've never done yoga before, you don't need to worry. This is actually the best spot for you to try. Okay. We even have chair yoga. We have all these different types of, you know, alternatives. If let's say your back is a little bit sore or anything like that, but it's really the kind of trip that's going to bring you back home with a lot more energy than when you got there. And that's, the, that's what people want when they travel. They want to come back with energy. They want to come back and need another vacation from their vacation. So it's a good idea. So one night in the yoga room will actually offer you a unique sound bathing experience using a variety of instruments. This is like my favorite activity of the whole week. And, I've, and there's tons of them. So you'll be invited to lie down 
cover up with some warm blankets and some pillows and enjoy the sound of the crackling fire. We have a fireplace within the yoga room. And then our musicians will lull you into a state of complete relaxation. It's just incredible. Again, it's a, a sound meditation. It's a powerful experience that will send you to bed completely relaxed. So if you've never done a sound meditation, you will absolutely love it. It's just incredible. Let's move to the next slide. During your stay, you'll also have access to purchase optional massages and spa treatments. So I recommend for sure the Rio Flow massage. That's one of my favorite or the hot stone massage. Oh, I love hot stones. Uh, you can also try any of the body scrubs or facial masks as well. So this is optional and above and beyond, but you know, you can choose what you want to add and pamper yourself more or less. You can choose. Next slide. You can also just simply enjoy all the included amenities at the lodge, like our beautiful cedar hot tub by the river. This is a perfect spot to enjoy the stars at night. Uh, also, if you need to relax your aching muscles after yoga class, for example. We'll be using the cedar tub during one of our interactive river spa treatments by the river. So I won't tell you too much about it, but it's it's one of our anyways, every person that's come on this trip has said they've loved this experience. So you'll be introduced to, to some more natural ingredients to use on your skin. And in doing so, you'll leave, you know, your, your skin feeling so smooth and refreshed. So I hope you'll enjoy that. It's very interactive, too. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> OK, next slide. So on top of the daily yoga, we have added a variety of fun activities for you to discover the incredible biodiversity that exists in the area. Like our visit of a local butterfly dome, you can see in one of the corners, that is a blue morpho. And if you've been to Costa Rica before and you've seen it, it they're quite funny. They kind of fly all over the place and they'll live very long, about three months, but they're the most beautiful of butterflies. And when they close their wings, you can only see sort of eyes, almost like the eyes of an owl. So that's their protective mechanisms to, to be safe. Uh, we'll also visit a local basically called the secret gardens. It's not really a secret, but it is a secret because not everyone knows about it. And here you'll see tons of, of the local flowers. So if you love, like this is a, a ginger by, a, you know, that you're seeing on, on this image, but you'll see tons of, uh, of these beautiful flowers and you'll have a guided tour. So if you have questions, you'll learn about them and you'll get to experience some things very interactive as well. Next slide. We'll also do a mindful walk through the Cloud Bridge Reserve. I was telling you earlier about these reserves that create corridors where wildlife can move between national parks, you know, so it's really important. And this one is just quite magnificent. Next slide, you'll be able to see this incredible waterfall. And coming back to that, you know, negative ions when you're sitting by this one, and this is not doing it justice, this photo. When you are there, it's, it's quite a show and it's so beautiful. And it's just, again, uh, surrounding yourself with as much nature as possible. We call that forest bathing, really, when you bathe within this forest surrounding, you have this water around you, this beautiful fresh air, all these beautiful colored flowers and birds and, you know, everything from butterflies. All of this is nurturing, nurturing you and it's bringing you back into a state of calmness and just of peace, and which is something a lot of us are missing, you know, especially nowadays with everything going on. Okay, next slide. Now, if you want to add a little spice to the adventure, which I hope you do, I hope you'll join me to the Bayena National Park. And this again is included in your trip. If you're not into beaches, though, I get it, but at least it's just one day. It won't be every day. Um, here, basically, the tail, as you can see, looks like the whale's tail. And uh, we have humpback whales that come to these waters basically January through March. So you may actually see one or more in the distance. And they're actually quite uh, often there. And so at low tide, this tail becomes exposed and you can walk all the way to the end of it it's just magical and when the water comes back onto it also it's really cool to to just be walking as the water crosses over your feet but you're still very much on land next slide you can take some time here to stroll along the beach you can swim or you can take some sun you might see our my favorite, the scarlet macaws, which are these blue, yellow, and red, um, basically parrots that are just incredible. They sound loud. They sound like they're swearing. They're, they say stuff like that, but they're just incredible. And you'll also see, again, these white face captions, hopefully here by the beach. And they often love to just drink out of the coconuts and they love to like pair up together and try to intimidate with their teeth. And it's, it's a lot of fun. So don't smile at them too much cover your mouth because they might think you're, you know, trying to intimidate them. <laughs> but when we return to our mountain paradise, we'll enjoy more fun and relaxation. So it's a full day at the beach. And then we go back to our comfortable stay, you know, in the mountains. 
So this is a completely curated retreat that will allow you to fully disconnect from your everyday life and reconnect with nature and the others around you. So if you're looking for a trip that will re-energize you, fill up your batteries and leave you in awe of mother nature, then I really strongly invite you to join us. And again, everyone, please feel free to join. We will make sure that you get on this trip somewhere or another, okay? So this is a small group retreat, of course, so we'll be, it'll be small group that features beautiful spa-like accommodations, your own private chefs, private yoga teacher guides, and of course, tour manager and hostess, that's moi. <laughs> I hope that you'll be one of the lucky few to enjoy our first ever yoga wellness retreat in Costa Rica. You can see the dates here, February 18th to the 25th, our 15 day one. We have one of them that starts right before that. It finishes in San Jose and this one starts in San Jose. So you wouldn't even miss a beat. So you can reach out to one of our expert tour consultants for details on how to join us. You can also type in your questions now if you haven't done so already in the chat. And I look forward to answering as many, you know, during our q and I'm going to say to you, pura vida, and pura vida means pure life, and this is a word in Costa Rica that's used for everything, so if you hear pura vida, you'll be like, oh, pure life, I get it, and you'll see uh, that you'll be using it by the time you leave as well, so thank you for your attention, everyone, thanks for joining us today, I appreciate it, and thank you, Brianne. <laughs> wow, thank you, Martine, uh, uh, what an incredible presentation, and also, Wow, it looks so beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So everyone, like Martine mentioned, um, our first offering of this brand new tour is going to be in February of 2022. Uh, so you can watch our website or check the brochure for further details. Uh, so Martine and I are now going to go into the question and answer period. So if you have any questions, uh, please enter them into the Q&A box and I'll pass it on to Martine. Uh, so we do have a few questions already. Um, so the first question I have here is the pool water thermal or natural heating? So it's natural. There's no heating of the pool because we're in the tropics. <laughs> so it doesn't need to be heated. So it's actually a very perfect temperature. It's like cool enough, but warm enough, you know, where you're not feeling like, oh, you're going in. It's salt yep. filtered. So it's very, very um, healthy to be in this pool. And then we have um, a small little hot tub. That one, sometimes we do put a little bit of something in there just to make sure it's perfectly clean. And then our cedar tub is changed almost daily. So it's, and it's all water from the river. All right. River. Yeah. Great. Um, another question, I know that we are up in the mountains for this glorious tour. So um, exactly how far is it from a beach? Oh, okay. So we're ba okay. So I'll give you a, a, just a little bit bigger scope. So we're just three hours south of San Jose going up towards the mountains. So we're going up towards the highest peak in the country. Um, and we're about an hour and a half, so 90 minutes from the beach. So if you go to the top of Chiripo Mountain, which is I think just under 15,000 feet, you can see both coasts because it's very, very narrow Costa Rica. So we're an hour and a half, 90 minutes from the beach. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. um, and there, is there hiking opportunities available on this? Absolutely. Tour? Going into the Cloud Bridge will be one of our hikes. Going into um, the, the, the Secret Gardens is one of our hikes. Uh, we also do hikes around the property as well. And then, of course, there's the yoga. And then there's, you know, all of the other stuff like the cooking class. We're even doing a coffee plantation tour as well. So there's all of these other things. And you can request all that information from your tour consultant. They can give you all the details. But yes, hiking. And some people, I know some of my guests will go and do even walks on their own with a partner or friend and they can go up and 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 there's even like a I'd have to explain it to you when you're there but there's a bit of a loop there's some on the property so there's a lot of chances of being out there walking in nature yeah. wonderful and along those lines I guess um is the hiking um is it pretty easy or is it a bit strenuous or what should they expect? Good that? question. So it's uneven terrain. So you must be comfortable with uneven terrain. Uh, it is an active trip. So we are going to be doing ups and downs and going yoga and, you know, moving around. So you have to feel comfortable with that. Um, that said, like if there's some issues with walking on uneven terrain, we can assist you. We have ways of, we have a bigger team than just moi. So we can assist you in getting into certain areas where you can still enjoy, for example, that waterfall, you can still enjoy the meditation garden. You 
can still, for example, when we go to the secret gardens, it's only a 20 minute walk from the lodge. It's a bit of an up, look, just a little bit of an uphill to get there on the main road. And then once you're in, it's just some uneven terrain. So you have to feel comfortable with uneven terrain. That's the most important thing, but we won't be doing okay. anything too crazy, too strenuous. And for some, someone, for example, might say, I, I'd like a ride to the, you know, secret gardens instead of walking all the way there and then doing the secret gardens, we can oblige. Uh, sometimes there might be a small cost to that, but in general, you know, we, we'll, we must, we should be able to do that. Included. Wonderful. So good walking shoes, in other words. Yeah, you have to get some good walking shoes. Uh, you don't need rubber boots. Please don't bring those. Don't bring anything <laughs> leather in general. In Costa Rica, leather and humidity don't go well together. But, you know, I always say amphibian shoes are the best. So the ones that go from land to water, you yeah. won't be cold where we're going. So you can definitely get those amphibian shoes. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Another question I had here. Um, what are the temperatures in the mountains in February? Oh, that's a great question. I always, I'm super bad with actual numbers, but um, I would say it goes, it can definitely go up into the thirties during the day with a nice breeze. It's never oppressingly hot in the mountains and, but it can go down in like the 12, 13, 14, 15 range. So in the evening, we actually don't put heat in the rooms, but you have these beautiful thick blankets. You're mm -hmm. super, we have, we have the fireplaces. Um, you never get cold, ever get cold, but you get cool, which is lovely. That's the best part about being in the mountains. That's why I want to live there myself <laughs> instead of on the ocean. So it's super hot, but it's, it's that beautiful range and temperature. So you'll want to bring long sleeve, uh, you know, maybe a little, if you are someone that's very cold, you may want to bring a little, you know, designer scarf and a little hat. Or something. But in general, Perfect. you know, you'll do more. Yeah. Excellent. So layering um, clothes. Yeah. Like an onion. I would say dress like yeah. an onion. Same yeah. thing Peru trip, by the way, which you'll be doing the next webinar on. So dress like yeah. an onion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I know you mentioned this in your presentation about all the glorious birds that you have in Costa Rica. Um, is there a specific excursion uh, for yeah. our birders that want so to see? We're going to be in the birding metropolis of Costa Rica, essentially. So birding happens from your balcony, happens when we're walking, happens. We, do, we didn't put in an actual birding tour uh, because not everyone would necessarily want to do that. But there is a, there are guides that can come specifically for that. If you wanted to do like an optional tour that goes above and beyond, we can certainly arrange that. In fact, close to where we are, and I say close, it's still about an hour away. San Gerardo de Dota is the home of the famous Quetzal which is that beautiful green and like translucent green blue has this long tail and that's the home of the Quetzal. So it has been seen in Cloudbridge Reserve. I'm like, and they eat these little avo, uh, like the little avocados, avocaditos are called. And so they eat those. And so as long as the, the trees are in bloom with those, we may be able to see one of those. So that'd be amazing. But there's uh, hundreds and hundreds of birds. So if you're a awesome. birder, bring your birding list and you can knock those off. <laughs> Check it off. Yeah. Um, someone asked uh, the day that we do the beach uh, yeah. excursion, is there snorkeling available at the beach? Oh, okay. Snorkeling is not the best in Costa Rica in general because the tides are very strong uh, and we don't have a lot of, it's not like Belize, for example, where you would go or Honduras where there's a lot of mm -hmm. The coral so we don't offer that um it is possible to go on a boat tour and then they can do a little bit of snorkeling but honestly i can find out if we can do it on that day if i can get the equipment because if the tail is exposed that day and i could go look online and see the dates because we know sort of tides way far in event uh if the tides are low i have seen a lot of people kind of jump off their boats and sort of snorkel in that area where the tail goes off mm -hmm. but again it's not something that i say it's you know, because if you go to Belize, it's going to be so much better if you go to Honduras for that. Mm -hmm. But definitely swimming and just enjoying the water and you can find these sand dollars and these beautiful shells. You know, it, that's that's what it's about. And it's a lot in Costa Rica. It's a lot about the land wildlife. And then, of course, in the ocean, we have dolphins. So you may even see pods of dolphins when you're there. Uh, and of course, like I said, the, sh the whale sharks, which are basically not a whale and it's not a shark. <laughs> it's as big as a whale. And it's as a swims like a shark, but it's actually the biggest fish in the world. So it's possible that you could potentially see that, but that's harder because you really have to see from down, but whales can come out. Dolphins can come out. So it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, we can see. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, somebody asked, are we in a national park or are there any close by? 
Oh, yeah, we're pretty much in a national park. We're not officially in the national park because Chiripo National Park kind of ends around where we are, but it's it's like I say, these private reserves. So the Cloud Bridge is basically an extension of the park. We'll be going in there. And the lodge itself, you know, looking ahead, it's we're in rolling hills. It's sort of like imagine a mix of like tropical rainforest with sort of more of like rolling hills. So we're not in deep uh, in the lodge. You're not going to be in deep forest, but we are going to go in deep forest on the trail. So there it's more, imagine these beautiful green rolling hills around you. If you saw the photo, if you picked up on it, uh, it was the one of the yoga platform. You can really see the outside of, of what that looks like. I don't know if we can go back to that slide, but it's, it, it gives you a better idea. It's, it's, I think, I don't know if it's in use in our um, marketing materials, but you could always look at that, you know, to see, or we can send you a photo of it so you can see what your view is going to be like. Okay. And uh, somebody's wondering if there's ever any issues with altitude since we are on the mountain. No, luckily not. Um, I've been to Peru uh, many, 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 many times. And yes, there could be. But even then, you know, 11,000 feet in Cusco, most people are fine. We're at 4,000 feet here. Uh, I've never had anyone have any issues with the altitude in this area. In fact, most people don't even know they're at 4,000 feet above sea level. But it's where you see a difference in temperature. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, comfortable, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, um, just some general questions. Uh, when we're using cash there, can we bring our Canadian money? Or do we have to bring US? Money to them. <laughs> Canadian money, <laughs> monopoly money. So they don't accept Canadian, but they will accept US. And I recommend just go with okay. US. Don't even try to find the local currency, which is colones. Mm -hmm. Colones will come to you if you buy something with 20 US dollars. They, you can even ask for your change back in US. I say stick in US the whole way through. Um, okay. It's gold there, basically. Okay. Yeah. And uh, credit cards widely accepted yeah. everywhere widely we go? Accepted at the lodge as well. So if you decide to do facial or massage, or let's say you want to go on that extra bird tour, you know, that can be arranged and then you just have to pay with your credit card. Not a problem. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, I know some people get nervous about language barriers and stuff. So is English widely spoken at the resort or around the area? Yes, so. <laughs> that means for sure. So first of all, I speak three languages. My first is Francais, my second is English, and my third is Espanol. So if you want to learn Spanish and you're a little concerned about it, you can <laughs> learn it with me on the trip. Uh, but everyone at the lodge speaks English, everyone. Uh, when you, We are going to be in a more remote area of Costa Rica. We're not going into the city proper on this trip at all we're not going in the city so we're avoiding that altogether in the city sometimes you find more english people but when you go into the rural areas you know more taken away from either san jose or perez Eledon. we'll be closer to perez Eledon, which is the second largest city in costa rica i think there's about a million people that live there but we're going to be going even not even touching that we're going to be going right into the mountains so if you leave the lodge sometimes people don't speak any other language than spanish but that's when i teach you a few words like Rio Chiripo, <laughs> they'll, they'll point you back to your lodge. <laughs> so, yeah, no need to worry about that. Wonderful. Um, and I guess following that, is it safe to sort of meander on your own? Absolutely. Costa Rica, first of all, in general, Costa Rica is one of the safest countries in Central America, I would say is the safest. Um, in the era we're going, it's the safest. <laughs> so there's very, very little crime. Um, in, even in Costa Rica, you know, there's always that petty sort of crime that can happen in those bigger cities, but in or on beaches, you know, where people leave stuff on beaches. So yeah. that's the only place where I'd say don't leave your, your you know, th things unattended at the beach. But in general, it's a very, very safe place. The locals are lovely. They're very much Canadian. Canadians and Costa Ricans, we share the same values on many, many uh, levels. So you'll see the kindness and, and people are just very generous. And really, it's one of the safest places to visit. And in terms right. of even your health, you don't need any specific shots to go in the country or anything like that. Um, you know, so if you want to talk to your doctor, you can certainly talk to your doctor about that. Wonderful. So yeah. no malaria to worry about or anything like that. No, not where we're going. Great. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, is, I guess, the water, is it safe to drink at the lodge, out yep. of the tap? 
Uh, in our, when you sign up for the trip, we're going to send you a full on information package, which will give you details of what to bring, what to expect, things like that. One of the things I'm going to ask you to bring is your own reusable water bottle because we want to reduce, reuse, recycle. And at the restaurant, we always have doubly filtered water where you can fill up your bottles. In your rooms, you can certainly brush your teeth, take your shower, you know, accidentally get some in your mouth. Don't worry. Where's that movie from? I think it was like, anyways, was it Sex in the City? I think she got water in her mouth and she freaked out. Anyways, you don't have to worry about that uh, here. Uh, I do, you know, we always have to be careful when we're going to anywhere because it's a little different, their water, but it's very, very safe and it's clean. It comes from a natural source. And also in the kitchen, it's doubly uh, filtered. So bring your water bottle. <clears throat> Wonderful. Um, and just a little about the rooms. I know we're going to relax and enjoy yes. and maybe not wear makeup or do our hair, but is yeah. there <laughs> hair dryers available in the Who's room? Who's doing their hair with hair dryers? That's okay. <laughs> That's not a problem. So the lodge has a few hair dryers that are available. It's not in every room though. The, the, it's the same electricity as in Canada. So if you want to bring your own little one, I recommend you do that, but you can also borrow it. If there's a lot of people needing it, it may need to be sort of borrowed and brought back to the front desk. Okay. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, but in general, in your rooms, you're going to have shampoo. That's uh, all organic shampoo. That's, um, made with lavender it's my favorite if you don't like lavender though you may you may still want to bring your own shampoo and conditioner um and we have bars of soap that are again naturally made there and even natural sh uh, sh chocolates and stuff so anyways it's really organic um but you can bring your own sort of you know shampoo soap all that kind of stuff and your little hair dryer if you'd like but i'd say leave your curler at home you know, just leave it home. Let's just be free with our hair. <laughs> this yes. is what I look most of the time anyway. So it won't be a competition. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, and I guess lastly is, um, are the meals buffet style or are they served a la carte or how? Do okay, so I mentioned this a bit in the presentation, the breakfast or buffet, because we really want you to eat what you want. You can order eggs, how you want them and everything. And so everything is just delicious it's incredible mm -hmm. the lunches and dinners are mostly all plated and we do that so that you can really have a, a really good experience so sometimes people end up putting too many things on their plate and they're like ah so we're going to feed you well and beautifully and even our last night we always have a little surprise it's not going to be a surprise i'm telling you but it's uh, our pizza oven we have this pizza room and it's like my favorite night because we make our own pizzas and we put them in it's more like we talk we dance we drink it's it's a lot of fun so oh. it's Food is a big part of this experience. So food, just being around nature, relaxing, just being in an environment that's that's just going to bring you so much energy, you know? That's wonderful. Yeah. I do have a couple more questions that came in. So um, somebody's wondering if the spa staff are all vaccinated? Like, are the everyone staff at the-, the lodge, Yes. So everyone in the lodge is vaccinated 100%. In fact, Costa Rica has done a really good job of vaccinating. I even know where I live is on the Osa Peninsula, which is to the south. It's where it's the pure rainforest where you have jaguars, pumas, like all the four monkeys, all that. It's crazy, uh, a little hot. And, and I even know of gold miners where they have gone on the, 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 the staff of the healthcare staff there have gone on motorcycles in the rainforest on their motorcycles to vaccinate gold miners. So it's, it's, it's really all across the board. People there are like a lot, a lot of them are very, um, how can I say it's not, that's not, I don't even know what the word is. They're very Canadian and that they want to participate in their, in their civil mm. duties. You know right. what I mean? Like other countries where they're like, one, fight one for all, you know, just be your, me, myself and I, they're quite the opposite. They're quite family oriented. They want to keep people safe. So everyone in the staff will be safe and they'll be using measures, cleaning, extra cleaning. Um, if, if, if we all want them to wear masks, they will, but at the same time, they're all vaccinated. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a very natural, clean environment for everyone to come in. Fantastic. And um, we are getting lots of questions about the mosquitoes in particular. So I guess people are wondering if there are mosquitoes. You're asking that. You know why I love that? Because there's more biting bugs at my sister's cottage in Renfrew, Ontario than there are in all of Costa Rica. Okay, so really people bring bug spray, but they never use it. So I, if I'm going to say anything, bring, go to Sage. It's my favorite store. Go to Sage and get yourself a bottle of like regular, like the organic kind of spray. You can do that or bring that 
extra DEET if you want, but you'll never probably use it. There's very little biting insects. I'll tell you why, because there's lots of birds, butterflies and bats and frogs and, and lizards, and they're all taking care of that. So we're not gonna be bothered by insects a lot there. Even the big ones, especially in the mountains, very little, you know, so no need to worry about those. And that's why malaria is not a big deal also in this area, because there's very little at, at this altitude, there's very little mosquitoes, but there okay. could be, you could, you know, they say, if you don't think you can make a difference in the world, try sleeping with one mosquito. <laughs> so there could be. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, one more question. Uh, you mentioned the Osa Peninsula. Yeah. Is the lookout in still there? Oh, it's not. Well, it's still there, but the owner uh, sold it to a private uh, buyer. And now the, and that's funny you say that because that's where I met the owner of this company of Senior Discovery Tours, Danny. I met him uh, there many moons ago now. I want to say 20 years ago, maybe or something like that. I don't even know. And so uh, the owner, who is an interesting character at best, uh, sold it. And so now it's a private home. But uh, there are still lots of beautiful lodges on the OSEF ever anyone wants to go there. <laughs> Excellent. Was oh. that Danny asking? I wonder. <laughs> it was Danny who asked. <laughs> That's where we met, Danny. That's where we met. <laughs> I remember, well, thank I you so much. That was so oh, informative. Uh, you really took us on such a magical journey. And, oh, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to run there now and relax a little. Everyone I've talked to him about, I'm going, they all want to go. So everyone's yes. welcome, really. And again, we do have a limited amount of spots. So the sooner you can commit to the trip, the better. And again, if we have yeah. too many people in this trip, we're going to just open up a waiting list and get this done for you. We want yes. you to we yes, are. definitely. Well, we all hope to see you there soon. Yes, I hope to see you all there soon, too. And if there's and any other questions, please send them to your consultants. They will answer them with joy. That's what we're all here for. That's right. Well, thank you, Martine. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. I wish you all a great day and just be well and come and join us. You'll love it. I guarantee you. <laughs> okay. See Bye you later. Everyone. All right, everyone. So we're now entering the last 10 minutes of our webinar. Uh, so Feel free to continue asking questions in the Q&A um, and we'll answer them the best we can and, and uh, ask Martine if, if we have to. So I'm going to now ask you the question uh, for your chance to win a $100 future travel gift certificate with Senior Discovery Tours. Uh, so the first person to place the answer in the answer in the Q&A box uh, will be the lucky winner. Uh, the winner is going to be announced at the end of this presentation. Uh, so please stay with us. So the question is, uh, what is the name of the highest mountain in Costa Rica? So once again, the question is, what is the name of the highest mountain in Costa Rica? All right, so don't miss out on our next exciting webinar taking place October 27th, featuring Peru with local expert, uh, Mariana Watson. Be sure to subscribe to our e-newsletter on our website to receive for a free Zoom invite in your inbox. Stay tuned for details regarding upcoming webinars on our social media. Uh, if you would like to learn more about Senior Discovery Tours, please stay with us. Uh, I'll be providing more details about our tour types and inclusions, plus everything that makes traveling with us so exceptional. So we like to take care of all the details, both big and small. Uh, just a few things we include on all of our tours are round trip transportation between your home and the airport in most Canadian cities, all airfare and airport taxes, carefully selected accommodation, most meals, all tipping and taxes, cancellation insurance, health insurance while outside Canada. Uh, and the best part is that all of our tours are guaranteed in Canadian funds with all taxes included. So there's no hidden fees. To further enhance your tour experience, we provide meet and greet services in Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, and Vancouver airports to help assist with your check-in experience. Uh, our, our tours are fully escorted by one of our experienced tour managers. Expert local guides providing knowledgeable commentary on history, culture, and customs of the destinations that you're visiting, as well as any entry visas uh, to those countries where it is required. Our optional services allow you to curate your own travel experience. We offer air extensions should you wish to stay longer in the country that you're visiting. Uh, 
air upgrades to assist with the comfort of your flying experience, waiting lists for those tours that are sold out, uh, as well as roommate matching programs. Now on to some of our incredible tours and what they offer. We have flight plus coach tours. Uh, these tours ensure you get the most out of your holiday. Uh, they are multi-city tours, which means more hotel changes and lots of movement, ensuring tons of excitement. Uh, listed here are some of our more popular flight and coach tours. Just like the term suggests, these tours are best suited for those that enjoy staying in one location and exploring its surroundings. These tours are much more leisurely, allowing for time to relax and also enjoy excursions. Here are just a few examples. Next, we have our two and three center holidays. Focusing on two or three different regions or countries, these tours are excellent if you want to combine a couple of locations but still have plenty of time to explore. Listed here are some of our more popular two and three center holidays. Another vacation type is our classical coach tours. These tours are perfect for those who do not care to travel abroad and wish to have an experience closer to home. Adventurous travelers who enjoy moving around while taking in incredible scenery love our walking and hiking tours. Imagine yourself walking through quaint French villages along coastal paths or by magnificent lakes while listening to expert commentary by a local guide. Truly a wonderful way to travel. Our rail tours are becoming increasingly popular, offering a completely different perspective and unique way of traveling. It's easy to see why. From the Jacobite to the Glacier Express and the Rocky Mountaineer, there's no shortage of unforgettable scenery on any of these tours. And for those wanting more out of their travel experience, think about our exotic destinations. They will be full of adventure and never ending opportunity for discovery. These tours are sure to delight anyone ready for an exciting journey. And lastly, there's no need to pack and unpack several times to get the most out of your tour. You will have access to hundreds of activities and amenities, not to mention incredible views. Senior Discovery Tours now offers over 30 different cruises in locations all over the world. Here are some of our more popular cruises. We want to thank all of our loyal customers who have been posting such wonderful reviews on social media over the past year. Please continue to let us know about your past travels and memories with Senior Discovery Tours and send us any suggestions you have for future webinars. You can follow us on all social media platforms. These addresses can be found on our website. Uh, we would like to extend our appreciation to all of you for joining us today. Uh, we certainly hope to see you again very soon. Have a great afternoon.